Hello Ice and Fire Nerds, this is Chris and this is going to be another Game of Thrones video about Season 7 casting, which is usually not my forte, but we did get some interesting news the other day about Jim Broadbent, who has been cast for Season 7 in a role that is described as significant. Could we see Marwyn the Mage? Okay, so this will contain minor book spoilers only because the characters come from the books. But anyway, Jim Broadbent has been cast in Game of Thrones Season 7. The role is described as significant. He's been in movies such as Harry Potter, Gangs of New York, Cloud Atlas, War and Peace, and of course Teletubbies. Anyway, the point being that there are a few characters that he could be playing, and if the role is significant, I'm thinking it could be Marlon the Mage who would be more significant than the others. But first, let's talk about a few other potential roles he could be playing in Season 7. And the first one of those could be Lord Hightower. Now, this would be Leighton Hightower, who is is in the reach. Now his daughter O'Leary Florent is married to Mace Tyrell and their children are Loras and Marjorie. But at this point personally I don't think it's going to be Lord Hightower. He basically lives in seclusion in the books. He hasn't come down out of the Hightower in Old Town in like 10 years. So I don't think this role would be significant. Now another possibility is the HBO a couple weeks ago released a few casting calls and they described one as a priest who has moral authority. Now this casting call could be a little tricky because it may not be an actual priest. They could just describe a maester as a priest. So it could be someone in the Citadel. I mean think about it. If you didn't know what a maester was and you saw a character on TV walking around in those robes and a chain, you would think some sort of priest or monk or something to that effect. So this could be just something to cover things up about where this character is going to be. I can't think of any role in the show as far as being a priest that would be that significant going forward since we are in the final two seasons and they have to condense things down a lot from the books. Another possibility that I had mentioned in a tweet when somebody asked me who I thought this could be was an older Howland Reed. Now this is certainly possible and it would be significant enough as far as how the role is described because we do need Howland Reed to show up and kind of vouch for what Bran has seen in his visions. He's the only one alive left except for possibly the handmaidens in the Tower of Joy on the show that knows who Jon Snow is and who his parents really are as far as his lineage. So we do need Hal and Reed to show up. George R. R. Martin has said that he will eventually show up in the books at some point. We've already seen a younger version of Hal and Reed, of course, at the Tower of Joy scene part one. So this is very possible, but at the same time, him and Ned are described as roughly the same age. So I think he'd be a little too old for a Hal and Reed. But then again, the power of special effects and makeup it very well could be Hal and Reed showing up at some point in Season 7 to verify who John actually is. And that would be fairly significant. Now, of course, with Bran going back and seeing the past and seeing visions, etc., this could really be anybody. It could be some important character in a past event that's significant. So who do I think it is? At this point, if I had to guess, based off the information we have, which is very little, I would think this would be Marwyn the Mage. Now, Marwyn the Mage is an archmaester in the books who is kind of an outsider in the Citadel because he loves to study magic and dragons and stuff like that. And by the way, whoever it is, I do think it's going to be someone in the Citadel that ties into Sam's storyline because we know that he's got a significant role to play. We know he's got to find out something about the White Walkers, perhaps something about dragons. And I think this could tie Sam's storyline as far as his connection to John into Danny's storyline who's already on her way to Westeros because in the books, Marwyn the Mage does interact with Sam. He's the one who thinks that the Maesters have this conspiracy to get rid of dragons and magic altogether. Now Marwyn the Mage, they call him Marwyn the Mage as a slight and he's earned all his accomplishments including a ring and a rod made from Valyrian steel because his specialty of study is the higher arts, the arcane magic and his area of specialty Valyrian steel. That's right, Valyrian steel. So I think this is going to be more on the mage. It's going to tie into Sam's storyline. He's got to figure out something about Valyrian steel, perhaps. Now, in the books, Morwen's important because he believes they themselves caused the death of the last dragons. For example, he tells Sam in the books, why do you think Maester Aemon wasted his life away at the wall instead of becoming king because of his blood? So it's implied that he thinks that the Citadel and the other Archmaesters don't like Targaryens, don't like magic, and damn sure didn't like dragons. Now, Morwen has traveled the world. He's been to a shy. He's studied with with shadow binders. He studied with warlocks, so he's all about some damn magic and what has been coming back in our show since season one fucking magic. So I think this would be a perfect character for him to tie into Sam's storyline. Also not to mention in the books, after talking to Sam and telling him all this stuff, he actually takes off to go see Danny and wants to become her maester. So I think this would fit perfectly for the show. Now there's another arch maester in the Citadel called Walgrave and it's a possibility that he's playing this character. 
but I don't think so for the sake of the show. Basically, he's just an old man who's already lost his wits, but it's also possible that he could play some combination of characters because you know in the show they like to kind of combine characters. So this character, of course, on the show could be some kind of, well, maester sandwich that kind of includes a little bit of Marwin, a little bit of Walgrave, etc. But personally, I think it probably will be Marwin outright because Archmaster Walgrave, in my opinion, is really not significant enough, but Marwin is. We did hear Sam say a couple times in our story, I always wanted to be a wizard. We could have Marwyn teaching Sam some things about magic, about White Walkers, about Valyrian steel. So yeah, if I had to take a guess right now, I think this is going to be Marwyn the Mage tied in with Sam's storyline in the Citadel. I think it fits perfectly for the show, especially being condensed as it is already, because he is aware of magic, he believes in magic, he studies magic, he's an expert in magic, and Valyrian steel for that matter. And Sam, of course, is going to have to learn something about the Long Night, the White Walkers, perhaps Valyrian steel, Dragonglass, the history of the Long Night, and this could tie into Danny's storyline as well, although in the show she's already on her way to Westeros, Morwen would likely already be aware of this, and this could tie into John's storyline because Sam could learn a thing or two, learn about Danny and the dragons being on their way, and send a raven to John in Winterfell and let him know, you know what, we got some dragons coming, we got a Targaryen coming to take over Westeros, but that's the perfect thing you need to fight White Walkers. And of course, Sam himself could learn a few things from Morwen, and Sam could become that wizard he's always wanted to be. You're like wizard so anyway guys let me know what you think in the comments below who do you think that jim broadman is going to be playing in game of thrones season seven and remember this is a condensed season season seven and eight they're going to be shorter although apparently the episodes might be a bit longer so we might not be actually losing that much time we're getting pretty close to the damn end which is both awesome and sad at the same time. Also, be sure to stay tuned for our next q and I'll be doing our first giveaway on Smokescreen, and that's going to be pretty damn cool. So be on the lookout for that, as well as A Dragon Raised by Wolves Part 3. So anyway, guys, as usual, thank you for all the support. Be sure to subscribe to get everything. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.